Hey, good morning. Welcome back to Tech A Day. Today we're going to talk about streaming. Now, whoa, before you say no way, boring, I'm out, peace out. Uh, streaming is really important, actually. If you want to like take JavaScript and scale it up and do like big projects and stuff, uh, particularly around big data, which is what we're going to look at today in terms of streaming JSON, um, you need to have a streaming solution. So unless you want to have people say, whoa, hey man, JavaScript can't scale up to big projects, like big data projects, like unless you want to deal with that, stick around, let's get into the code and take a look at JSON streaming. Okay, so we're dealing with some big data, big data in Node, so let's make a directory. And I'm gonna use this list of city San Francisco lots, San Francisco city lots in there. I already have it down, so I'm not going to waste my bandwidth on that. And it's about 181 megabytes. So, all right, let's create this JavaScript project. And next, we're going to go and look at it a little bit. It's got these features. We want to basically go and count every even and odd lot. So I'm going to use this uh, stream JSON, which is going to create JSON uh, a stream of JSON tokens for us and add in that stream chain and the JSON. Now I don't, it's not gzipped, so let's get rid of that. And okay. And we don't need to, all right. We need to take a look at all the city lots. Now we've got this array, but it's underneath features. So we need to go and get, first we'll check stream array, cool. And now we'll just filter down to that features. All right, cool. So let's just make sure that we get data out of this thing. Oh, looks like we are, awesome. So that's what, and this is how this is gonna work, right? So we create the stream and then it's got an event listener. And so we're not gonna put on these certain types of events. We wanna get, you know, the, uh, the callbacks, so it's gonna have on data for every part of data, and then on end, that's gonna be when we end the file. So let's go and add our counters for even and odd. And then because there's also those nulls that I noticed flashing by, I'm gonna add an other. Okay, cool. And then at the end, we'll just go and print that all out. Okay, cool. And now it's just going, but we can't really see anything. So that's kind of a little weird. I don't really like that too much. So let's go and just every thousand we'll just print out something. Okay, so it's chugging, chugging, chugging. And there you go. All right. So we've crunched through what? Uh, 300,000 records there. That's pretty good. All right. So, and the nice thing about this is not going to have that massive memory footprint that you're going to have if you try and download it, I mean, in JSON parse one big block like that. And eventually, regardless, you're just gonna end up out of memory if you do that big JSON import. So this gives you the ability to essentially scale linearly, right? Um, you're gonna have the same memory footprint whether you have one record or a thousand records. All right, guys, enjoy. Enjoy crunching big data. See you next time.